I'm Jeff with CNS Solutions, working here with Subsurface Solutions. What I've got for you today is the uh, Q's Flexitrack C550 system. We've got uh, two different crawler setups. We've got the 4-inch with a pan tilt camera head. And we've got the 6-inch with the elevator on it with the pan tilt zoom camera head. The system itself is fully contained. It runs on a 2000 watt inverter or you can run it on a uh, generator uh, as long as it's electronically based. Uh, with this, you get the monitor, which is fully contained. Um, it's all one touch functioning on the monitor. Gives you a splash screen, setup screen for everything, lets you know everything's working properly with the unit. We hit the select button. We've got our video screen here. We've got uh, built-in internal storage on the monitor. We've got a USB recording on the monitor as well, so we can actually take those files, those recordings, dump them off to a USB stick, and then hand them off to a customer as, as you see fit. The monitor itself is, is water resistant. As long as this door is closed, we're good to go with it. Um, we've got tractor controls on one side, camera controls on the other, or camera head controls on the other side. We've got a main keyboard screen here in the center. With this, just operate the tractor. It's four inch tractor, it's simply just forward and reverse. Pretty basic setup, simple, easy to use. The camera is a pan tilt camera head on the four inch crawler. Does everything you needed to do. That current setup there will run anywhere from six inch pipe to 18 inch pipe. The larger crawler will run 18 inch or eight inch up to 18 inch. With the elevator on there, we're gonna be centered in 36 inch pipe. The system's pretty universal, pretty easy to use. Um, you can pretty much go anywhere with it, being a portable system. Um, with the recording, it's pretty simple. If I wanna start a job and do a recording, I just hit the record button. Brings up your survey. You can label it however you want. Right now it's just date and time stamped. We just hit okay to continue and we're recording as simple as that there's no air you have to put in the units it's completely sealed from the manufacturer the only thing you can't do is hit it with more than 150 psi of water pressure other than that roll and go with it uh, the drum itself is an auto drum setup which means that the tractor engages pulls the cable off the drum when you hit the reverse button it brings everything back in sync with itself no issues whatsoever with it. The tractors themselves, pretty robust. Each one has four sons. Activated is pretty simple. You hit the sign button. There's 512, there's 640, eight, and 33. And it pairs great with the RD7200 unit that you can get from Subsurface or CNS Solutions, whichever one. This has the sign frequencies. The sign actually comes off the tractor, off the black pill in the back. You're able to pick up anything up to about 12 to 14 feet with no issues. Once we're done, we just select the sound off and away we go. The nice thing with this, there's no paper manual whatsoever. You have a question on the unit, you hit the question mark button. Brings up the entire manual for the unit. Pretty simple. We keep it simple here. Pretty basic. There's not much we need to know about it except for simplicity. You get out of it, we just escape out. My famous saying is, when in doubt, escape out. If you get confused or whatever, hit the escape button, go back to your main screen and start fresh there. There's a couple added extra features. We have our photos that we've taken throughout the job set if we want. We've got added photos if we want to add photos. You can actually text right on this if you'd like. You can actually put you know, circles and um, squares on certain spots of the um, inspection that you're doing I'm more of a basic guy we have a video and if we have a bad spot we take a still photo like I said keep it simple simplicity is the key of the game uh, simplicity in fact you do a joint scan I just hit that button right there the camera is going to do a joint scan all by itself I can take my hands off the unit and it's going to run all by itself we just are going to complete a joint scan here and then back to our survey we go Stop the recording, all we do is hit the stop button. This is, are we sure? Yep. The nice thing about this is it has an internal storage device. Actually, it has 115 gigs, actually, to be honest with you. If we go in here, we can actually see our files. We actually have files all the way dating back to about this time last year from 2020, August of 2020. I can actually preview these photos on here. 
And the nice thing about this new monitor that they have out now is I can play the recording. And as I'm watching the video from over a year ago, if I see a bad spot on there, I can actually stop the video, take a photo, and mark in there what I saw in the photo from over a year ago. It's a nice way to modify your videos, even if you're not on site with it. You just hit the save button, and away we go. It's that simple. The unit itself is fully contained. It runs on a battery, the monitor does. It actually charges off the unit when the unit's plugged in. Um, so you can actually take the monitor off the handy dandy stand here and bring it in your office, watch your videos in the comfort of the AC, do some modifications to it. The other nice thing about this unit, it gives you a report. It's free. There's no service subscriptions to it. It's 100% free. Comes over in a Word document. You look at it, you can modify it. When you're ready to send it off to a customer, you save it as a PDF and email those photos with the descriptions off to that customer. Within five minutes, they've got the problem issues of that inspection. You then send over the USB stick that has the video on it just to back up all that information. Like I said, we'll try to keep it simple. Um, when in doubt, we're gonna escape out of this. We're back to our main screen. That simple. Um, up here, we've got our time, our, yeah, our time, our date, our footage and our pitch. Right now we're on a minus 1.8 inch or 1.8 degree slope. So you got everything you need on a survey. We've got uh, we got a survey open right now. We've got 113 gigs left before we're full on the unit. It stores them. You can delete them as you want. Get a little better image there. Um, I can sit there and manipulate the camera head if I want to look up. One touch feature. I just select it and away it goes by itself. Go back to this way. The other nice feature about this unit is that if we're out 600 feet, we've got an auto stop. So like right now we're out 200 or two feet. If I drive the tractor forward, this is a really cool feature. I like it. It actually scares me a little bit at times. We're out, let's say we're out five feet, eight inches. All I do is hit the reverse button. The unit's actually gonna come back and stop by itself without me touching a button. That to me is perfect. I love that feature. It still scares me every once in a while, but we're done. I didn't hit anything and we stopped by itself. We can set that auto footage, that auto stop at any increment that you like to make it easier for you to come out of the pipe with and that way you're not damaging the crawler or the camera head. Um, the other nice thing about this unit is that if you get it through subsurface CNS Solutions, we can actually give you loaners. We actually are a repair house for the unit itself. If the unit comes in for service, camera head, tractor, monitor, we'll send out a loaner free of charge for the life of the equipment to keep you guys up and running. If it sits in our shop longer than a couple days, it's not making you guys your money back and it doesn't anybody any good. So that way we keep you up with our own loaner program that we have, our own loaner stock. That way it might take a couple you know, extra days to get those parts in, at least you're still up and running with the system that way you can uh, continue on with your service so this is a joystick this actually controls the tractor forward and reverse if the steerable crawler which the six inch is steerable you can actually go left or right with it it's simple you just hit the up arrow and we're driving one touch control this is your automatic elevator for the six inch crawler it elevates it up elevates it down six inch crawler is the big one there six inch crawler is the big one yep that's a six inch steerable. With the elevator, huh? With the elevator. And the light ring. And the light ring. And the pan tilt zoom camera head. Okay. We've got our drum controls. Right now we're in auto. We have a way to just move the tractor by itself just by hitting the tractor button. It even lets you know on the system itself, hey, we've got tractor control. The drum will not do anything with cable. The tractor just moves by itself. If I want to switch over to the drum, I can pull up my slack cable without moving the tractor. Hit the auto button and away we go. Now we're 100% in sync. We've got an, a stop button. So if something goes awry, you hit the stop button. That stops the entire unit from moving. It doesn't kill the entire unit. It just stops the tractor from moving. Over here, we've got our question mark, which is our manual. We've got our footage. If I want to adapt our footage, we're at eight feet, three inches. I can say we're at zero feet. So we're resetting our footage counter right now. I can actually manipulate and say we're out 300 feet if I choose. If I want to go back to zero, I hit the zero button and enter. That's simple. 
The other button is your sign button. This is what activates your sign. 512, 640, 833. Shut it back off. This unit here also has a microphone, not built in. You have to get an external microphone. And this is the mute for it. The microphone actually plugs into a slot right there. Once that's plugged in, you're actually on a recording, talking live. If you want to mute it, you just hit the mute button. You don't want to mute it anymore, you just hit the mute button, you're back to talking into it. Also in this housing here is a USB drive that you stick your stick in, and then actually how you transfer video files over. With this door, once again, you're completely waterproof. I can hit this with a garden hose, and it's still gonna keep working. Carry over to here, we've got the little circle here. That's your indicator that lets you know that you're recording a video. You've got your record a video, pause the video, your play of recording back, or pause the recording back. You've got your stop and your camera button. Pretty simple. Sides here, we've got our files. So if I hit this button, it's gonna create a new survey for us or a new inspection for us. If I hit this button, it brings up every job on there. The nice thing about this, it stores the jobs until I wanna personally delete them. So you can't never not have a video on here the redundancy asks you twice if you want to delete the video. So maliciously or anything like that, you're going to have to go in there and tell it twice that you want to delete it. If not, it's going to be stored on here. Once the hard drive gets full, you will have to delete videos, but it's going to store them on here until you burn up that hard drive. This side over here, if you top touch button up here at the top, it says menu. It gives you just a description of what each one does. We have a settings button. Usually, 95% of the people don't have to go in the settings on the unit. It's pretty self-explanatory. We've got our another footage counter here. So if I want to reset the footage again, they give you a second unit or a second button over here to reset the footage. And then that's your scan button for joint scans. The way the system's set up is your speed bar is up, is forward, reverses down. Your center circle is the actual inside of the pipe. That's what you're going to be looking at on the inside of the pipe. So if I Retreat the tractor back here. The nice thing with this, with the four inch tractor, the way it's set up, is I can actually flip the tractor and both tractors are gonna show a warning on the screen saying, hey, we're about to tip. That gets you an idea that, hey, we better stop. Or if we do tip, the nice thing with the four inch crawler is that if you do flip completely over, all you do is center up the camera head. And forward is forward, reverse is reverse. Simplicity. All we're doing is driving forward by hitting the up arrow. We got our speed bar letting me know, hey, we're cruising at a pretty good speed. If I want to stop it, I either hit the stop button or on this unit I can hit the space bar. Keep it simple. You can also control the tractor by the up down arrows. Reverse is down. Forward is up, and we're still upside down. That's all we are. This side over here is your camera controls. This joystick controls your camera head, left, right, panning, rotating. You have a zoom feature. This feature on this unit, since we're on a pan tilt camera head, won't zoom in. If we have the zoom head, the zoom head is a 40 to one zoom. So if I hit this button, we're gonna 40 times zoom in at whatever we're looking at or zoom out in this case. You have your iris open and close, which is usually, it's an auto iris system, so you really don't have to mess with that button at all. This button here, I like this feature. If I hit this button right here, it puts a little circle on the center there. I can say, hey, I wanna go look at a 12 o'clock position. Tap the enter key, and that camera's gonna go follow wherever I told it to go without me having to move the joystick around. Pretty simple. You've got lighting control here. Lights up, lights down, gives you percentage. Go back and go to center. Nice thing about the system too is it has an inclinometer. So it lets you know, kind of like an airplane, if you're gonna tip or not, it lets you know, hey, it's down here at the bottom because we are completely flipped over. So if I bring it back, and I flip the tractor over, the inclinometer now, it's in the center. The inclinometer is based on the tractor. That lets you know your angle of the pipe, you're about to tip and that kind of stuff like that. Uh, both systems come with all the wheel sets. It's a plug and play system. 
one bolt operation. Take off the camera, off the cable, it's one screw, and you gotta, you know, you can replace it from that unit to this unit. It takes literally less than a minute. Here in a second, I'll do it for you. All I'm gonna do is go here. I'm gonna shut the real power off, that way I don't have power to the drum. Grab my little Allen set that comes with the unit. That's it, one screw, you're done. You wanna replace the wheels? One screw in the center, you're done. Replace the camera head, one screw, you're done. Come over here to the six inch. That's it, we're hooked up to the six inch. Come over here, put the real power back on. Escape out, and we're on the six inch crawler right now. I can use the elevator, up or down, it's completely automatic. Nice and simple, easy. You can rotate the camera head. I can zoom in. Back out, center it up, keep it simple. With the double wheel sets, you got plenty of stability in the pipe. And this one's a beast, this thing will take off on you. You want to stop it, I can move it, turn it any direction you want, it's steerable, which is a nice thing. Center it back up. Nice thing about this one, like I said, is that powered elevator on there. You can manipulate it any which way you want to fit in the pipe size that you got. Lower it all the way down. With the light ring, you're going to have plenty of light all the way up to the even 48 inch, 50 inch pipe. No issues whatsoever. Even bigger than that if you so choose. What's the tensile strength of this cable? Tensile strength of the cable is 980 pounds roughly. So you can pull on it pretty good if you do get it stuck. Um, it is Kevlar reinforced. Everything on the system, if you want to do a return, they do let end users do the returns on them. They're pretty simple, color-coded unit. I think there's about 12 wires in the actual return itself. I might be a little off on that. Um, but as long as you're pretty fluent with um, soldering, you can do the return yourself. The kit is like 48 bucks. It's not too, too terribly expensive. And how much? Care of that. What's the footage on this? This unit comes with a thousand feet of cable. That's standard throughout every system that they have. Ordering is pretty simple. You want, you tell us your pipe size, and it's a kit package. With the kit, you get a set of holes that come with the unit that we have here. You also get a top hole roller right here. You get a bottom hole roller. You get rope. You get a hook to lower and raise each unit down in there. Um, training with the unit is included with the price. We don't charge for training here. There's no need for it. You're spending good money on good quality piece of equipment. We're not gonna charge for training. Um, so if somebody was to put this in the back of a pickup truck, yep. how much does this weigh? 165 pounds. And it runs off of what for power then? 2,000 watt inverter is what I typically recommend. Um, or if you have a Honda generator, 2,000 watt generator, um, a Westinghouse 200 or 2,000 watt generator is plenty of power enough for you. Okay, and what's the warranty? Warranty is one year with the unit. Um, like I said, you get the one, one year warranty with the unit, the free on-site training. And with that, you also get the loaners for life. And what's this reel over here? This one here is the push camera. So this push camera here will actually hook directly into this monitor. So if I actually switch this off, the nice thing about this is it's dual redundancy. We can actually go to use two different pieces of equipment with it. Take the link cable provided. Screw this from a monitoring station, and on the back here of the monitor, you've got your AC power in. When it's not hooked up to the crawler, you actually can plug in AC power and it actually charges the unit. We've got a video out, you've got a computer port in for programming, you've got your connection to either a push camera or your crawler connection, which is through this cable, it's to the crawler. You've got a 5 amp fuse that comes standard with the unit. An HDMI out, so if you want to plug this to a bigger monitor, we can pump it out through HDMI and get it to a bigger screen. 
You've got uh, two USBs as a backup USB recorder for it. But in this case, I want to hook up the push camera. Pop out that cable. This runs to the push camera. Push cameras come in two or 400 foot increments. We can get you a 500 footer, which is called the high tension system. Uh, meant for longer pushes, that kind of stuff like that. Open unit back up. You do have to do a little switching in here. I gotta go through here and put it on a 542 system. Make sure we're all on the rod. And right now, we're on a push camera. It's that simple. A couple, couple things on the keyboard. And we're now using a 200 foot push camera system that you can actually get an add-on reel, which is what this is, to the crawler system. So you got you know, your four inch, your three, four inch with this, all the way up to 36 inch plus with the crawler system. So you got one main application for all your needs. So, if you have any uh, questions or anything like that, give Subsurface Solutions or CNS Solutions a call and we'll get you guys taken care of. Thanks.